Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to do factoring quadratic trinomial case number 1. So for case number 1, the numerical coefficient of the first term is equal to 1. And let's talk about quadratic trinomial. When we say quadratic trinomial, let's cut it into two parts. We have the word quadratic. When we say quadratic, the highest exponent of the polynomial is, or the given polynomial is 2. Now, when we say trinomial, we are given three different terms, okay? So here are the steps in factoring quadratic trinomial case number one. So first, we will focus on the constant term or the last term. And then we are going to identify or list all the pairs or the factors of the last term. Next is we're going to pick a pair whose sum is equal to our middle term. Identify the pair of factors of C that when we add, it is equal to our middle term. Okay, and then we're going to factor it. Okay, let's have an example. For example, we're going to factor x squared plus 10x plus 16. So first thing that we need to do is to, to prepare our grouping symbol. So we're going to have two factors for this, so we need to prepare our two factors. Okay, two grouping symbols. So next is we're going to distribute this, x squared. So what are the factors of x squared? We have x times x. So we're going to place it inside our group as our first term of each group. We need to focus on our last term, which is positive 16. We need to get the factors of 16. Our factors for 16 will be symboled as m and n okay look for the factors of 16 positive 16 that when we add the answer is equal to the middle term list down all the factors so we have 16 and 1 we have 8 and 2 we have 4 and 4 negative 16 and negative 1 negative 8 negative 2 negative 4 times negative 4 okay so we will also include the negative factors of this given. Then we're going to add. Add 16 plus 1. We have 17. We have 10. We have 8. We have negative 17. Negative 10. And negative 8. So here are all the factors of 16. And here are the sum of the factors of positive 16. So, what is our objective is to look for the factors that when we add, the answer is 10. So, let's identify in our list. So, the factors that satisfy the condition is this one. Okay, so we have 8 and 2. Now, our next step will be to copy the factors that has the sum of the middle term, which is 8 and 2. And we will copy 8 and 2 as the other factors okay now what are the operation that are we going to use okay we will just copy the sign of each factor so we have eight our the sign of eight is positive so that will be the operation between x and eight and two is also positive so we will just copy or place two okay and that will be our final answer Let's have another example. For example, we have c squared minus 11c plus 18. So our next step is for us to prepare our grouping symbol. Preparing our grouping symbol for the factors of the given polynomial. Next is to distribute the factor of the first term, c squared. So what's the factor of c squared? It is equal to c times c. So distribute or place the factors of c squared to each of the grouping symbol as the first term. Next is we're going to look at the last term of our given. So positive 18. So we're looking for the factors of 18 that when we add, it is equal to our middle term. The factors of 18 is we have 9 times 2, 18 times 1, and we have 6 times 3, okay, 
Okay, let's extend this. We have negative 9 times negative 2, negative 18 and negative 1 and negative 6 times negative 3. And then after that, we're going to add them. Okay, and we're looking for the factors of positive 18 that is equal to negative 11 when we add them. Okay, so 9 plus 2, it is 11. We have 19. We have 9. We have negative 11. We have negative 19. And we have negative 9. So, which among the following factors satisfied the middle term? So, it is negative 9 and negative 2. Okay, that when we add, it is equal to the middle term, which is negative 11. Okay, yeah. So, we will just copy the factors. We're just going to copy negative 9 and negative 2 and place it to each of the factors. So, distribute natin. We have negative 9 here and negative 2. It's okay to interchange them. If you have negative 2 in the first group and negative 9 on the second group, that's okay. Okay, you, you'll still get the correct answer because commutative property will apply. So, what is the operation between each group? It is subtraction. So, our final answer will be the quantity of C minus 9 times the quantity of C minus 2. And that is the factor of our given polynomial. Okay, have our last example for today. So, for example, we have n squared minus 14n minus 51. So, in this case, Okay, we have a negative last term. So let's focus on preparing our grouping symbol. So our grouping symbol will be okay, placing our or preparing our grouping symbol or factors of the polynomial. Okay, next is for us to distribute the factors of n squared. So what are the factors of n squared? We have n times n. Next, our main focus will be for the last term which is negative 51 because we're going to look for the factors of negative 51 that when we add the answer is equal to our middle term which is negative 14 so think of a factor of 51 so we have negative 51 so let's write the factors of negative 51 so the factors of negative 51 we have the following we have negative 51 times 1. We have positive 51 times negative 1. We have 17 times negative 3. And we have negative 17 times positive 3. Now, next is we're going to add our factors and identify which factor has the sum of the middle term, which is negative 14. So let's add. So by adding, we have... We have negative 50, we have positive 50, we have positive 14, and we have negative 14. So which among the following has a factor of negative 51 that has a sum of negative 14? And that is this one. Okay? So ito yung pasok sa banga. So we're going to copy the factors of negative 51 that has a sum of negative 14. 14. So we will copy negative 17 and we have positive 3. And that will be the factor of our given polynomial. Now that we already know how to factor quadratic trinomial case number 1, it is your turn to try it. Click the link in our description box below in order for you to practice your skill. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.